హాయ్ హలో వెల్కమ్ టు మై ఛానల్ ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో యూ ఆల్ కెన్ లెర్న్ అబౌట్ వాట్ ఈస్ ఇన్స్పెక్షన్ అండ్ టెస్టింగ్ ప్లాన్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద ఇంపార్టెన్స్ ఆఫ్ ఇన్స్పెక్షన్ అండ్ టెస్టింగ్ ప్లాన్ హౌ ఇట్ ఈస్ వైడ్లీ యూస్డ్ ఇన్ ద కన్స్ట్రక్షన్ ఇండస్ట్రీస్ అండ్ హౌ టు ప్రిపేర్ ద సేమ్ ఫర్ ఆల్ ద యాక్టివిటీస్ ఇన్వాల్వ్ ఇన్ ద కన్స్ట్రక్షన్ ఇండస్ట్రీస్ జనరలీ ఇన్స్పెక్షన్ అండ్ టెస్టింగ్ ప్లాన్ ఇట్ క్వాలిటస్ ITP uh, which is nothing but quality control plan actually this ITP is important to do the stage inspection for process or product while doing any testing or executing any activities it is widely using to control the stage inspection actually itp is a guide to control the quality of product or process in line with the quality assurance plan whatever is assured in the quality assurance plan you can control it through that quality control plan that is itp and the the content of atp or the template of atp this is very important for the people who are is looking for that job in a qvc QC field mostly this is also in the interview for qvc QC people the content of atp is activity control of documents frequency acceptance criteria responsible persons record control points and remarks so the activity activities activity may be inspection or testing if it is yeah, if it is so activity then there will be inspection if it is a testing there will, there will be a if it is for a material there will be a testing okay then control of documents or reference documents what are the documents to be referred what are the standards to be referred for the particular activity or testings then the third one is a frequency at what random interval the testing or inspection to be carried out then what is the acceptance criteria for that i mean which means that uh, specified value for the material testing or this inspection and then the responsible person means who is going to execute the testing or the inspection his name will be there in the responsible person then the record what are the documents will be created during inspection or record will be mentioned over there then the control points control points generally hold point witness surveillance points random inspection etc usually it will be divided into three column one is for contractor another one is for a consultant then the last one is for a client if you have any third party inspector then you can add them also if you have any con- subcontractor you can add them also okay then the last one is for remarks so then in the next video i will let you know that how to prepare the inspection and testing plan for the all the activities involved in the construction industries in each video i will explain for each activities like surveying will be covered in one video and the earth work basement concreting form work the same similarly i will uh, create a video for the road work also and the welding activity also like that uh, whatever activity involved in the construction industries i will prepare a separate itp for all the activities and upload it in my channel okay don't miss to see my video for that you have to subscribe my channel first keep in touch with my channel so that you will be very knowledgeable in the civil engineering industries thank you bye bye